There's a hack that I use to increase my lead count by 280%. Do you want to know what it is? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to share with you the number one hack I use to convert visitors into leads. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way when you release more tips like this, you'll get notified. Now, before I tell you the solution on how I increase my leads by 280% with one simple hack, keep in mind that if you don't follow all the tips in this video step by step, it's not going to work for you. It's not as simple as just using this hack. You need to also follow through and use all of the tips as well. So what is this hack? It's quizzes. If you go to neilpatel.com quiz, you'll see my quiz. This has helped me increase my leads by 280%. It's that much more effective than lead forms. But it's not as simple as just saying, hey, put in a lead. Hey, give me your information. If you just do that, quizzes do not work. So let me break down the exact steps you need to take to make this work for you. First off, you need a tool to create these quizzes. You can use lead quizzes, bucket.io, or interact. If you use any of those tools, it'll help you create the quiz and generate the lead after. If you want to custom program it as well, you can do that as well, but I found that it's just easier to use one of these tools. The second thing you need to do is you need to provide value in your quiz. So for example, whatever your quiz is on, if you don't provide value at the end, you're going to lose people and they won't convert into a lead. So for example, if I tell people how they can grow their marketing traffic, I make sure and I send them a rapport or something that fixes their problems. If you don't send them anything or give them something of value, people are going to be upset and it doesn't work well. The next thing you want to do is use qualification questions in your quiz. See, your quiz questions isn't just about understanding the customer and figuring out how to get them to the end point and get them the results. At the same time, you want to understand if that lead is a good fit for you. So what I recommend doing is asking questions in there that not only helps you help them, but also helps you qualify if they're a good lead for you. Because if you collect 100 leads, you can bet that the majority of them won't be qualified. And that's okay. That's how lead generation works. But you want qualified leads, and that's why a quiz is so amazing, because you can drive them through the steps and qualify them with some questions that not only helps them with the end solution, it also helps you. For example, I'm asking one of my quizzes is if you use Google Analytics or if you spend money on paid ads. Because if you're not using Google Analytics or you're not doing paid ads, I know that, hey, the potential to help you grow may not be as big because typically people who don't have Google Analytics set up are brand new websites and they haven't done anything yet. On the flip side, if someone has Google Analytics and they've done paid ads, I can then put in a URL into Ubersuggest automatically through API or SEMrush and see if hey, what can people do step by step to improve their rankings, right? And that's example of what I do. I'm tapping into other technologies. You may not do that. Um, you can end up building your own technology or you can just use tools as I mentioned like the lead quizzes of the world. The next thing you want to do is send them a custom asset based on their answers. So whether it's a PDF, a webinar, a course, Whatever asset you send them should be based on the responses that they fill in. If they fill in responses saying like, um, I have a ton of traffic, Neil, I don't need your help. Why would I send them uh, a PDF that says, hey, here's how you get more traffic. I should send them a PDF being like, now that you have traffic, here's how you boost your conversions. You see how you want to tailor around to their problem solution, what they should be doing. That's also how you create better quality leads. The next thing you want to do is avoid using the word survey. Anytime you use the word survey, you're going to notice your quiz will get a lot less completed by people. You're always going to have drop off, but you don't want to use the word survey. And I know you're thinking, this is crazy. You're like, Neil, you're teaching us tips on a quiz. Why would people use the word survey? I don't know why, but people do. It's a really common mistake that I see. The last thing you want to do is make sure you don't have too many questions. So you want enough to qualify people so that way the lead is relevant, but you don't want to have 20 or 30 questions because that's too many. I recommend anywhere from seven to around 13 questions. I try to keep it in the seven to 10 range. That way I'm getting super qualified leads. When you start only asking three or four questions, you'll get way more leads, but they're not going to be relevant and your close ratio for your sales team or through your email marketing campaigns won't convert as high. So make sure you're asking enough questions. And when you ask the questions, don't have like 
20 open-ended answers or 10 radio buttons per question. You wanna keep it simple, no more than three or four options per question, ideally one or two, and then go from there. Because when you do that, you're not only helping people out, making it easier for them to fill out the quiz, you're also giving them guided questions that you should be posing to them based on their responses. It's hard to do that when you have 20, 30 questions, but with tools like lead quizzes, based on what people asked, uh, answered previously, you can show them different questions in the next slide so that way it's more relevant to them. But it gets more complicated when you have more than 10 questions. So if you need help with your quiz, increasing your lead flow, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Cheers.